traveling as a family on a sailboat. After safety and questions about boat schooling, the number one question that people seem to be concerned about is, how do we find other kids? You see, finding other kids tends to mean the difference between the magical experience that we all dream of and mutiny on board. However, we did not expect in a million years that the number one kid hotspot we would have this year would be a tiny remote island in the Bahamas, much closer to Cuba than the United States, bringing in cruisers from all over the world for a total beach takeover during Christmas. The Ragged Islands are like a, a little sliver of the Exumas just set further southwest from Georgetown. They're just cool because they're remote. Um, they're not really that much different than the Exumas in terms of landscape or anything. Maybe slightly better spearfishing just because there's less pressure. But what's cool about it is there's just not that many boats and the boats that are there had to work a little harder to get there. So I think there's a bit more camaraderie between the cruisers that are there. So for us, uh, with our six foot draft, any trip to the Ragged's is either a very long single day to get to the, the top end of the chain or broken up over two days. It's about 40 miles to Thompson Bay and Long Island and another 40 miles through Comer Channel to get over to Water Key. It's 6.30 in the morning. We are just heading right now through the Como Channel on our way to Flamingo Key. It looks like it is going to be a Ragged Island Christmas, but who knows what that's going to mean, but it's certainly going to be fun. It's incredible to be out here on these types of mornings. I, I think this is the best part of living on the water. Right, here we are in Flamingo Key again, season two in the Bahamas. The gang has been out spearing. Maddie and I just got back from the beach and I think Will's heading here now. So we'll see. We'll see if we get the first hogfish of this season. Ooh, yes! Back in hogfish heaven. The season opener. Thank you. There it is. There's the bull shark. He knows what's up. At the very south of the island chain, there is one anchorage that is the cruiser hotspot, Hog Key. It's popular for its protected anchorage and large hut that provides much needed shade in the afternoon. Usually this anchorage has a fair few boats already in it, but as luck would have it this year, our ragtag kid boat gang had the whole beach to ourselves. So I think that we are about to get boarded by well, that was kind of funny. Yeah, they were sort of selective about who they went to check out. And they went over to Black Sheep, but Ryan wasn't on board, so they just told Kat, okay, see ya. <laughs> we, so, we only deal with men. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, pretty, pretty low key. Once concerns about local law enforcement were abated, 
we set out to create the ultimate beach setup. For a week, this was ground zero. So I find myself in this very bizarre, very rare moment where I have downtime on the beach while I'm taking care of Maddie. This has never happened, but the kids have taken her. She's off doing hermit crab, whatever. I didn't bring a book. I've never been able to like read a book. Today I could have totally read a book, so I'm eating Cheez-Its. They're delicious. And I'm like, what do I do? Hey Maddie, yeah. can you tell me what happened yesterday with the hermit crab? I pinched myself. Where? Can you show me? Wait, here. On your fingers, yeah. Did it hurt? Oh, uh, yeah. So yesterday, like literally right after I was basking in my beach alone time, the kids run over and go, cat, 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 Maddie's being bitten by a hermit crab. And this crab was latched onto her finger, it wouldn't, it wouldn't come off. Um, so I, I snapped one of its legs and it immediately let go. Um, so anyway, safety tip, I guess, if you get snatched onto, latched onto by a hermit crab um, and you can't pry its pinchers off because they've got a death grip on you, try snapping a leg. Wasn't my favorite thing to do, but uh, rather save my poor child's finger than a hermit crab's leg. One day, one of the boats even held a safety demonstration for the kids with an expired life raft. First of all, who's seen a life raft inflate before? I know. <laughs> one of the things that we wanted was one that the kids, the smallest person on the boat could push off the back. That's in case one of the adults was injured and couldn't physically lift it and push it off the back. So if the smallest person on your boat can push your life raft off, then that's a big deal. Everyone on the boat needs to be able to, to deploy it. This one here is the painter, all right? So this is what needs to be connected to the boat. The idea being that as the line gets pulled and gets to its end, and I think Fed just said it's about nine metres or 30 feet, so that's a fair amount of line, but it kind of makes sense if you want it a fair way off your stern. And then at the very end, it goes bang on its plate. Just get ready to duck underneath the water. All right. Two, three. I think it's going to take... Nine metres. Nine metres. Nine metres. Go, go, go. Nine metres. Nine metres. Nine metres. Nine metres. Nine metres. Nine metres. No, no, I need, I need everybody swimming, not standing. Swimming, not standing. Okay, really? I'm just going to sink your life raft. What's the problem? It's not all half the human. There's all the food, water, supplies. Lots and lots of water. Is that water? Yeah. Can I open it and have some? That's up to your dad. Yeah. He wants to open the water and have some. Yeah, let's do it. See if it tastes as good as our reverse osmosis water. All right, so that's what we got for lunch for you guys today. Yeah. Okay, so nothing else. A couple hours ago, I sent the boys out on a fishing mission. Will and Jeff come back with three hogfish between them. We're like, yes, we're gonna eat so well tonight. And then 10 minutes later, Vesna comes sting over and they got like a barrel of fish, literally, and an African papano that's this big. So we're gonna go to the beach right now, check out this monster of a fish and talk to the guys who caught it because 
This is the biggest fish I have ever seen anybody spear in real life. How? How? He didn't actually fight that hard. I shot him. He pulled a bit of line from the reel, but then, yeah. How much would you say that fish weighs? I don't know. We have a scale. I'm not very good at weight, so. Warning six. Pounds? Pounds, yeah. No pay. Wow. What a minute. <laughs> So it's Christmas Eve today. Well, we've got a fun-filled day planned. We're gonna decorate some ornaments on the beach. It is like 90 hey, degrees Mom. here and hey, beautiful. Mom. So should be a really fun way to spend Christmas, right, honey? Are we successful, friends? Sure. Yeah. What's up, Miss Maddie? Oh, nice. Yeah, it was a beauty. Uh, yesterday I got a mutton snapper, today I got a kubera snapper, so just gutting and gilling it. We're gonna go over to the beach and toss it on the fire. A lot of the gang is leaving tomorrow, so this band of ragtag kid boat ragged dwellers is gonna start to dissipate tomorrow, so tonight it's a bit of a, a last hurrah of sorts. Oh, what, snapper? Uh, <laughs> well, we'll learn together because we've not done this. <laughs> awesome. All right, so Will, I believe you can use coconut husks to start a fire. I mean, we have watched like 20 seasons of Survivor, so. Let's try it. <laughs> Hopefully this works. Fuzzy little bits like they do on Survivor. <laughs> TV does come in handy. Yeah. Kat's gonna eventually make a bid to be a Survivor contestant. So really she should be doing this with a flint. Are you actually? Like unironically kind of want to be on Survivor. Yeah. Hey dad, can yeah. I help you? Uh, yeah, pull a few little pieces off there. Good job, you guys. Yeah, go Maddie. All right, let's, let's see it. Well, it got a little... Yummy. <laughs> Looks kind of busted. It's more an it eating experience. Ben, there's forks in that Christmassy bag over there. Just grab all the forks. Okay, are you ready? I think it's going to be too hot. Oh, no. Is it good? Oh. Do you like it? I think you know the answer to that. Is it a eyeball? It's like fish. <laughs> fish, friends, endless playtime. If this is not the ultimate playground and best of summer camp experience for these kids and their parents, I'm not sure what is.